Hi there. In this video, we will be painting a converted, or custom, tank buster. This model was made by taking bits from an orc voice kit and kit bashing it with some green stuff to make a proper orc tank buster. Actually, building the tank buster and sculpting the green stuff was a really long process, worthy of its own tutorial. But I wanted to focus on painting for this video. So I started off by gluing sand to the base with PVA glue mixed with water and applied to the base. After that it dried, I took PVA glue mixed heavily with water and applied that all over the sand to really seal it in place. Once this had dried, I took the mini outside in a box to prime it black. The first thing I like to do when painting a mini is to paint the base. I started off with scrag brown as a base coat. I then overbrushed this with Xandri dust. Next up, I dry brushed Ushapti Bone, doing what I could to leave Xandri dust in the recesses. Right, the skin. I base coated the skin with Wa flesh. This was followed up with several thin coats of Warboss Green. The skin was then washed with Beal Tan Green. This was applied in thin coats, and then later layers were applied to the recesses for extra shading. I then took Warboss Green again and reapplied it to the base coat, leaving the original coat showing near the recesses. I then took Scarsnick Green and highlighted the edges and ridges of the skin. And the skin is done. Next, I took a bat in black, again touched up the parts of the vest and the gloves that got green paint on them. The next step is to take Rhinox Hide and paint the straps, belts, and boots with it. I then take Xandri Dust and apply it to the teeth, the straps, on the wires. Karak Stone is then applied to the straps on the wires. Time for the metallics. I start with lead belcher and apply it to all the metallic areas in several thin coats. This ended up taking a long time, as there are a lot of metal details. All the bolts, metal shards, optics, etc. And then take brass scorpion and apply it to various metallic details to add some variety. I find this warm color contrasts nicely in spots against all of the silver. For the next stage, I apply washes to the base coats I had just applied. Nulled oil was applied to all the metal areas and the recesses in the boots and belts. Agrax Earthshade was applied to all of the Karak stone straps and the teeth. I then took heavily thinned down Mornfane Brown and applied it to the recesses of the black of the power pack and the missiles to apply dirt and grunge. This was followed up with a thin application of scrag brown and some of the deepest recesses in those black areas. Next, the highlights. I started off by highlighting the black areas with eshing gray.
The boots and belts were highlighted with doom bolt brown. Karak stone was reapplied to the straps on the wires. and then highlighted with Screaming Skull. Screaming Skull was also applied to the teeth in fine striations. The eyes were painted with Mephiston Red, and were followed up with a very small dot of Fire Dragon Bright in the center of the eye. The optic on his shoulder was painted with Kalidor Sky, an Abaddon Black, and a 50-50 mix. Then pure Kalidor Sky was painted into the lower left corner of the optic. I then took Teclas Blue and highlighted the lower edges in a fine line. This was then followed up with Lothern Blue in an even smaller highlight. I then took White Scar and applied a tiny dot on the upper right hand side of the optic to imply a reflection. The highlight I placed was a bit too big, so I took a bat in black and cleaned up the highlight. I then applied the same process to the optic on the missile, but with Mephiston Red mixed with Abaddon Black, then pure Mephiston Red, then Troll Slayer Orange, then Fire Dragon Bright. Finally, I paint a small dot of white on the upper right of the lens. I then painted the rim of the base with Steel Legion Drab. Now, time to get a small brush and paint all of the checks. I started this by painting Ceramite White on the tips of the missiles, a line on the gloves, and the lightning bolt on the power pack. This was applied in many, many thin coats. Patience was needed. Once the white was applied, I painted small lines of black on the tips of the missiles in a square pattern. These square lines were then filled in with black in a checker pattern. This was done with a small brush and multiple coats. Getting really clean lines is a bit advanced. If you want to save some time or effort, don't feel like every line or check has to be perfect. Finally, I take mithril silver and highlight the edges of all the metallic areas, including the silver and the brass. And with that, the custom tank busta is painted. I really enjoyed painting this and had a great time painting something I converted myself. It's always interesting to see how a bunch of plastic pieces I was going to throw away can be turned into something useful. All it was is just some extra pieces on an orc boy kit that I wasn't going to use and some green stuff. And voila, you have a perfectly usable tank busta. So I may make more of these in the future but this took a really long time to make. I think it'd just be easier to just buy another one. It took that long to make, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and learned something useful. And let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.